we're we're on boy. Right. We're a few chess moves in, but um it's not close to over. So oh. So my I guess my basic conceit um Put a horse on the side and be a bit risky here. My basic conceit is um, Vaporwave is more of a activity than a genre. It's more found art and it's more um, unconstructible than um, what people um, sort of generally present it to be. I mean, there, there's. Some people argue that it's a it's it's a broader definition than uh, than it's treated as in like the public eye. You know, some people feel like it's you know, oh well, it's misrepresented by you know. I've moved, playing. by the way. Oh. I think this game just lets you move at any time. I feel like I feel like you can just. Oh yeah. Well, I Yeah, I think, um, I think there was, like, you know, pe people would argue that it's been misrepresented by, uh, you know, what's made it popular, um, which, I mean, it tends to happen in uh, general. It, but I suppose my, my conceit is the fact that almost calling a genre of music um, vaporwave is like um so it's like with punk uh, i've moved by the way this you're gonna have to keep a laser on this dude because it's um or if you have the desktop sound loud you can hear like the annoying clicks but it's like it's not quite loud and annoying enough. i don't know what i don't know what ling's doing with uh chester org dude but he's not doing a good job The oh fuck me, dude! That was almost a good move. Yeah, well, like I said, <laughs> that was. If you had, <laughs> if you had that, like, uh, you you just almost could have taken my horse in, dude. I really, I I wasn't being hyperbolic earlier. Yeah. Really. No, oh no, dude! I've got yeah, no I idea. Play like. jazz. Oh. <laughs> it's so um like punk is a sort of it's an ill so it's a non like bourgeois conceived um like art form. It's like oh, originally. Yeah, it's like, it, um, it's just like a bunch of working class lads that like to, you know, drink and mess around. So they didn't like formulate it quite properly. And I think the same is true of like Vaporwave, but not in the sense of um, like working class, they're just like shitlords online. So like when like Vaporwave is like in a, is a reversal to punk where everything becomes sacred. So like malls become sacred. Um, you know, uh, internet videos become sacred, memes become sacred. Uh, pretty much it's a turning everything in that's been created by mankind into a precious, um, like, commodity. Well, I think there, the, um, I think there was kind of a, there's an irony to that when they're doing it. Though, you know, it's, it's, it's not really done in, in, in earnest. Um, like, it's not. It, it's done with the understanding that there's like. Uh, that, that, like this preconceived kind of like Baudrillardian thing that we're like, oh, well, it doesn't matter it, like, before we even discuss that, it doesn't even matter because we're talking in terms of like, you know, like, you know non-existent or like phantom capital anyway. So it's like, saying that everything is sacred doesn't even mean anything in you know, person. We're working with terms that aren't even, there's no semiotics underneath them, you know. It's almost like they don't really care what the implications of that are. I, I feel like, I wonder if, um, 
like irony is almost a defense like it's not a true um, like word that it has to be post ironic um, t to be a thing like to actually generate um, to actually like generate any of these pieces you need to be able to appreciate some like aesthetic quality to them or some um, at least appreciable quality to them that you can exploit. Yeah dude, um, oh, I was about to say, yeah dude, you just completely destroyed me. I love playing chess against you, holy shit. Uh, I might actually win. Uh, yeah, this this is amazing. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like 20% paying attention to Oh yeah, good, yeah, good. Momentum. Okay, good, good. It's, I'm fine with that. Um, I normally just get beaten by chess and uh, chess and get absolutely mirrored. I was on a date once and um, she beat me at like checkers, and I was like, "It's just not something you should do on a date is beat a man at checkers, you know." No, that's. I mean, you shouldn't really beat a man at anything. On that's a date. like one. Of, that's one. That's the first rule of um, dating. You know? Just let let the man win at everything. Yeah, uh, yeah that's. <laughs> They teach you from day one. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, I mean, it's um. I guess the um, the paradox that I see, in, because I wonder, you know, this ironic stuff. I guess we have a with a a front there that we we've got some disagreement there. But I think the like the fundamental like paradox of um. Like vaporwave is that the because of like the fundamental problem with punk is um which is like the reason why it's like so un bourgeois in its construction is because like fundamentally um it doesn't it doesn't really work because um each generation has to go to the last generation's shit. Um, but see, you're speaking in terms of like the origins of punk, and it, it's. That's morphed so drastically. Mm. Like, it's not even... It's, like, not even worth talking about the origins of punk. But I think, well, I mean, I think it's worth talking about the origins of punk because we've now got the origins of the opposite of that, which is, um, which is yeah, vaporwave. Well, but I mean, but what, I, what I mean is, like, you, you can't really use it as, like, a litmus test or like some kind of comparison or something to place it up against as like a backdrop because it's so the essence of punk rock has become like exactly what it was proclaiming to be fighting against. It's completely commodified, it's completely dominated and owned by these fucking upper middle class like LARPing people. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. Well. So. But I mean. So my my point. Well, I mean. My overall point there was that. Um, so the concept of punk is like innately flawed in its conception. Uh, so it just didn't. They just didn't do it. Like there weren't really that many punks. And the issue I see with vaporwave is. Um, you have to turn your like meme compilation. Um, and at some point you have to like unironically declare it as a great work of like art. Like Vaporwave has to turn on itself and as you know, so, like it you know, it needs to turn Simpsons Wave into actually something that's good. Like that's the weird fundamental shift that has to happen at some point. That it's not uh it's not seeking truth, I'm saying. I'm saying it's not only not seeking truth, but at some point it will have to, by its very nature of being a recycling found um, process. It not, not all, see, not always. Because, again, there's, you've got plenty of people who do things that are associated with the term vaporwave, like, like, what's his name? Like James Ferraro, you know, that's all original stuff. But, but James Ferraro has a complete, um, like, um, respect for the past, and he has a complete and utter, um, like, um, I want to say reticence, but it's not reticence, it's the opposite of that. Um, he, like, reveres the past immensely. You don't think other vaporwave? No, I think April Wave artists do, but I think um, 
even if Too they well no I mean even if they don't um, even if they don't um, sample they're still um, they're still like you know worshiping old gods which isn't you know I'm in completely in favor for it's just um, it's just like the modality of what vaporwave has to be it has to be um, you look at the past and you say everything um, you know the things that were thrown away from this culture are beautiful and you can't really separate that um, from um, Simpsons wave but like the shit it's created well, let me let me ask you this do you see any difference between vaporwave artists and like the pre-raphaelites I, I don't watch the music ninja title at all dude <laughs> Uh, Pre-Raphaelites were a group, it was an artistic movement, um, around the time of, I want to say, I want to say it began around, like, the industrial revolution, maybe earlier, um, could have been earlier than that, but, but basically they were, they were appealing to, uh, European folk art, basically, and, and they were expressing this desire to go back to where the, the kind of like realness that they were describing in European folk tradition mm. in, in the arts before I mean, the romantics before the, you know, the enlightenment art, art before Raphael hence the name uh, to me I, I see a lot of overlap in that and their favorite thing yeah I, I think there's I mean there's a lot of art movements that seem to be very very vapor wavy without being um without having quite its um I, I don't want to say the word autistic quite yet into our discussion but it's like autistic um un, untrained uh, like aspect to it the concept that um I mean, there's a movement called the stuckists that was like that art's gone as far as it ever needs to go um, we're gonna just like hold back here and do like what the what these other people did for quite a while and there was um, I, I mean the main thing I think I think of when I think of, um, of vaporwave is I think of um, like futurism and um, futurism and fascism pretty much because it's uh, this they look at a Roman statue and say oh that's dope um, how can we how can we model our society on or our art forms on? on like cool shit you know yeah i mean there's the i think i mean i've seen you you see oh you see that kind of overlap sometimes online between like uh italo futurism or whatever like italian uh fascism and like vaporwave thing there is there's overlap there a lot of it's really awful <laughs> like, you get, oh like, yeah i'm not bash <laughs> in that garbage but again so, I mean, that's my fundamental, like, I know it's not a great issue to have with fascism. Oh, no, not fascism, with vaporwave, but it's like, um, there's a few issues with fascism. The, the, with vaporwave is that at some point, fashwave will have to become a beautiful, transformative thing. I mean, did some, or else uh, it's some failed. people it already had. It's not, dude. Um, I can, yeah, it's not. Um, well, yeah, but I, but to some. I know D Doritos and Mountain Dew is probably a transformative experience for for certain certain groups, you know. But um, it's not. I don't know. There's some overlap there as well, you know. I I treat Facebook like a kind of a receptacle for ideas that I can come back to later. Like it's the only real use I have for it. I post statuses as like diary entries almost that I can go back to and think of. And I think I that that just gave me a flashback. Um, something about like a guy typing a really long uh, Twitter thread, sticking his hand in a garlic triscuit box and mumbling Deus Vault and his own three layers of chin. <laughs> Yeah, Death there, Vault's, there's, um... There's, there's crossover there as well, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's, um... I guess, I mean, my, my like, contention in this subject is that... Oh, shit, dude. Pow. 
Wow. Um, my contention is just... Um, I don't really think it should be... It shouldn't really be labelled as a genre or, or even an art movement. It should be labelled as... A, it should be labelled as an action. Or... What? What the fuck just happened? Uh, Did you... I, I seriously got my pieces confused there. I, did I just lose my queen somehow? You lost your king. No, I didn't lose my king. Um, oh yeah, I lost my queen. I can't quite remember how I did that, but... Um, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I was trying to make the game a bit more interesting, uh, so I just, I just sort of entered the zone for a few moves there, and I've actually just lost. But um, I guess my, my, my big contention is the fact that I don't think Vaporwave should be classed as a, an art movement or um, it's, it's categorised wrong. It's really a behaviour. It's really a group of, it's a, like a series of actions that result in something called Vaporwave, which is, um, which ties into, it's like where its name comes from, you know, the sort of Marxist, um, yeah. the Marxist right. stuff. It, it, it has very Marxist. Um. Yeah. And it's it's just the the concept that all these other things have this vapor wavy aspect to them, and that those aren't like oh dude here we go, and those aren't necessarily. Um, Like Vaporwave, those are Vaporwave. Like, it turns out that, like, um, fascism was kind of Vaporwave. Like, it, the, it existed before Neats on the internet began making Simpsons wave. You well, know. yeah, I mean, there are plenty... I mean... There are people who... Do you know about uh, net art? I'm not particularly, no. Net, net but, dot art. No. That was a uh, movement that came out uh, pretty soon after the beginning of like Web 1.0, mm -hmm. um, and essentially it was it was basically was vaporwave, but like in the midst of the thing that it was, you know, referring to. Um, it was like taking everything like that could be wrong, or like, uh, unnatural, kind of, like, in this weird gray area of the hyper-real, um, seen on the internet, and making an entire kind of, like, um, uh, I don't know, developing kind of, like, a, a a built and strong built around that, like, you know, you'd see, like, poems or whatever that were, like, made out of, like, text that came from emails being formatted wrong. Yeah. And this was right when email had, like, was, like, a thing, you know? I think, um, I don't know, that. I think there's, because it's issue, because I can't remember what they were quite called, but, um, um, I mean, there was, there's definitely, um, I can't remember what they're called, but, um, there was definitely, um, I mean, I've, I've heard of some of those examples, uh, and, like, people framing, um, you know, like, not quite scam emails, but, like, mass emails as, like, um, as, like, constructed poetry. Yeah. But, um... I mean, there, there, there's a lot more to it than that's just the first thing I thought of. Oh, yeah. There's, there's graphical stuff, and there's, like, the idea of, like, websites as art in, in, in net art as well. It's, it's really, honestly, really interesting, and it, it, it completely just disappeared as soon as, like, the beginnings of Web 2.0. I mean, the... I guess my... I mean, my point for that to, like, further my own, um, end in this... Oh shit, what the fuck did I just move? Um, um, okay, I just moved a pawn somewhere random. Is that... 
the like the act of like recycling things on the internet is what vaporwave is like it's not really escapable but um any like redefinition of the word is like oh um it's it's this or it th that doesn't sound quite vaporwavy it's like the re um the reuse of any material is is vaporwave and it's unescapably vaporwave i don't know i mean like i but but see, I brought up James Ferraro mm. as like one example, but it's not. I I wasn't bringing up mm. bringing him up as an exception to a rule. There's tons of musicians who are who do that. I I, I, I fucking do that. Like I make music that is you know like the the tracks I've made for. Yeah, the show. I mean, I guess, but I guess what I'm unfortunately doing is I'm trying to like redefine vaporwave as a term so broad it loses all definition. Like right, I which is. Kind what? of, I mean, akin to what people who do vaporwave are trying to do, but like, uh, I guess capital hmm. for production, I suppose. It's like um, playing on their terms. <laughs> it's like I would almost call, um, you know, I would almost call anything vaporwave. And that's, um, I know, I moved that there, I moved it there, and I was like, um, why did I move it there? And then I was trying to remember why I moved it there, and then I remembered I didn't move it there for any reason whatsoever, um, and then I lost it. Oh. <laughs> what were you saying before that? <laughs> Mm. I was talking about how I wanted to, uh, I mean, my efforts here was to like redefine Vaporwave as a, a behavior, almost like a behavioralist uh, interpretation of purely the actions of um, finding something and presenting, representing or recontextualizing it. Um, e even, even, perhaps not even the material itself, like I would call, um, I would probably call Ariel Pink like Vaporwave. Um, and I, I mean, I, there are people who uh, would argue that, like, yeah, that is in, in the sense that, he, uh, you know, he's, those same people would say that, like, Frank Zappa is. <laughs> uh, I guess, I mean, because my, my, my thing I don't want to do is get into like what is and what isn't Vaporwave. I think that it, um, it's, obser it's observable Vaporwave. Like it's, it's literally a behavioral, um, you can look and see it happening. It's not actually um, like anything else. What something like Ariel Pink? Well, yeah, it's like um, I think I mean I think what Ariel Pink does is um, and because I guess why what I'm saying is that's why I think it's vaporwave is because I think I interpret his his music as saying okay this period of music was um was good I want to make music like that. Um, right. The boy. Okay, by the way, oh shit, I shouldn't. Right, you just like the idea. Because uh, I guess what I'm, my, my point here is the, f yeah, I know, oh. So one thing you could do is you could have actually taken that. I, I, I know you probably are, are completely and utterly uninterested with the rules of chess, but you could, you could, you could have taken. You just needed to get out of check in any way. So you could have actually taken that with your queen and just like destroyed whatever the fuck I was trying to do. For some reason, it wasn't letting me. Okay. Very odd. I don't know about this website. 
I don't know, Ling, Ling knows his stuff. Ling clearly only knows his own stuff, which is not chess. <laughs> Ling chess. Yeah, Ling Ling chess. chess. So. But see, I mean, I mean, Zappa did that too. Yeah, I guess. I think that there's a there's an yeah, element are, where. Let me ask you this: no. are, Is is they, would you would you call they might be giants vaporwave? I don't know what that is. Yeah. I feel like I've heard of that on in some short conversation with someone. The, but I mean, I guess my what well, my like conviction here is that people found something people were doing. They were you know they were reusing things um, that were like either discarded or were big or were they somehow found preciousness in in useless now defunct things um they found like trash and they said this is sacred um and they said wow this must be something new and exciting when um it's just something that kind of happens um it's just like a stand almost a bog standard like piece of behavior um, like it's a uh... Uh, spectacle. Yeah, it's. Um, I guess it's probably because it's virgins on the internet doing it. But it's like they they discovered like a they like they discovered. Um, I guess what I, I wonder what it would be like. Um, it would be. I mean, it's just like an internet community of this time like artists that like sampling music, uh, and they go, "Holy shit! We've just discovered that if you like sample." this type of music in this way if you sample elevator music and slow it down um it actually becomes really cool and elevator music is might actually be like really important because um it sounds really good um slow down so they look into it and they go wow yeah um what's this thing called but it's like um i guess it's you know it's like um uh, that's a heady example. It's like um, it's it's like the John Sill Crusoe. Um, um, what's it? Who's the guy on the island called? Um, who gets John? Who's the guy that gets trapped on an island, like a desert island? Oh shit! Why did I do that? Um, Robinson Crusoe. That's the one. Where he, he like looks, he sees a bird and shouts, Ugh! and he's named the bird, Ugh! Um, but he's not actually named the bird, Ugh! it's like, um, that's not quite how language works. Um, I, I'm, I'm guess what I'm saying is vaporwave should become um, almost like a tonal description for behaviour. Um, where things can be va- Ooh, my god, dude. I do, I do need to fucking win this game. Um, because I don't like this at all. Um, the... Uh, what's that? It's like, um... It's kind of like anger. I guess it should be... Not... Because it's not quite an... It's not an emotional thing. Um, in, unless you want, like... To, to get into, like, mind-brain identity and that sort of stuff. But, um... I think it's a it's a different it's a different type of word than a genre, like uh, I mean, or I, a visual I've, set. I've, I've heard other people people who are like in mm -hmm. the vaporwave scene argue that it's not a genre. I mean, I <sighs> that it's just it's uh, that it's a. a It's a, it's a gestalt, sort of. I mean, I wonder if it's even like, um, uh, <laughs> I, you know, it's like, it's, um, I mean, the problem for me is like, it gets into like seriously, um, I wanted to say gay territory, but it gets into seriously like, maybe like what people call vaporwave is just like growing up. Perhaps that's all vaporwave is. Oh, man. It's like, civilizations grow up and they move past a time where they need like fascist propaganda well the thing i mean there are you know a lot of victims back to the friggin 
I don't know if I buy that because it comes back to the, the Marxist uh, idea of, you know. Or not, not, not the Marxist, but the, 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 the neo Marxist idea of that we're living in the late stage of capital. Why? Why would that do that? Well, in the sense that, you know, like, we're, oh, we're like. It's, it, 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 going going back to the to the vaporwave to the origin of this idea regarding production, right? It's Marxist. Um, the, you've got the idea that um, there's a But I guess I guess my my comment on that would be well vaporwave is ironic and what's more uh, ironic than building an ideology based on a, like a dead idiot that didn't believe it by the end you know um that that as I, I, I think that aspect <laughs> of vaporwave is probably too vaporwave for like people that like vaporwave to admit is vaporwave uh, uh, no the, you there are people who i think would, would agree with that because uh, i've seen people who are into the vaporwave thing have argued that like uh uh 9 was very vaporwave i think yeah i think oh well, that's the thing i think 9 is insanely vaporwave um yeah it's um i think at this point in time um with trump as well um for some reason that aesthetic um everything about that footage is like um it's like a music video. It's like a fashion campaign, I, and uh, and I'm just waiting for it to be that, you know. Well, it's that's more. I mean, to me, it's like this stuff all comes back to. It doesn't come back to Marx. It comes back to Baudrillard, and he himself, you know. Well, I wouldn't say Marx is spinning in his grave over Baudrillard, but I would say. Marxists on suicide watch after simulacra and simulation. I mean, um, I, I mean, I heard people like saying that, um, you know, Marx uh, by the end like wasn't too down with Marxism uh, and said right. like he wanted, but I think um, it kind of loses the point that we're like chasing after, which is like, um, I'm not too. I'm not too sold on vaporwave being linked to um, to anything. I think that probably um, I I mean my growing up statement I think um, will will go down as a vaporwave um, uh, uh, statement. You know, I think vaporwave is um, I think nostalgia. A, it's a weird word because it seems to fit it, but it's obviously not nostalgia whatsoever. Or do you think vaporwave is nostalgia? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've heard people who are in the vaporwave scene argue both points that it is and that it is. I think that um, it's it's conf it's um, conflated because. Um, you go well. It's looking at the past with fondness, whereas like vaporwave is um, like weaponizing the past. It's it's using what's already been constructed, or at least the ideas or look or feel of it, in a um, in a new. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Hmm. Holy shit. I, I've actually got a chess move to make. <laughs> I was looking at your queen and I was like, I thought I killed your queen. And I was looking at it for a long time and then I realized it was my queen. And the color of this board as well. I'm looking at it on like in black and white so it's not quite so like repugnant. Uh -oh. There you go. Yeah, it's pretty hideous. Is that vaporwave with a sandwich? That's 
saying I'm moot, I'm, I'm continuously moot. Oh my god! Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you! You stupid little cunt! You are a fucking retard, dude. You've got a fucking gay voice. Um, <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you, dude. Unbelievable. Juggling the chaos emerald too. I fucking invite you into this in intellectual sphere. And you, you treat me like this. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Dirty, dirty. Um, <laughs> I actually have like one more piece than you. That's all I have. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the whole question of. I guess what I'm saying is that um, lo looking at. Well, I'm not saying this, but like what we are like coming down to is like. I think that saying the term like vaporwave scene is like a very peculiar concept. Because. Cultural Marxism is a vaporwave. What did you make? Uh, your uh, your castle. Yeah, I was looking for the exact term yeah. on the thing. I think it's is it yeah, like it's a car, it's, uh, a ro it's a rook. It's, it's a rook. Actually, it's a, yeah, rook as well. Yeah, one of those ch those chessmen. Yeah. I moved one of my chess pieces then. Um, Ouch. Oh, is that I think probably people are doing a disservice to themselves by saying um, vaporwave scene. I think they're probably it's probably much more likely that they're, they're not in a vaporwave scene. They're in a something else scene. Well, you're saying A, and I'm saying B. The yeah. Well, I mean the I think the vaporwave scene is pretty much um, everything right now. So it's not a scene. I mean, I think so much of I think well, I mean it is a scene, but I think so much of culture is vaporwave that um, it it's it. Oh fuck me! I've just realised what's happening. Um, that um, that it's it's almost like um, saying like the whites or something. It's like they're not. It's not a group right. that you can. Um, well, I mean, I'm not into, it's not, it's, um, I don't think it is an idea. I says, I, I think it's actually like a behavior. Like it's a very clear, a clear set of, um, patterns that result in, um, some, oh my God, dude, could you just lay off with a, with a rook play? Um, a little bit of the RP. <laughs> um. What was the end of that? Well, is that I? It's not vaporwave. Isn't a, an idea that's popular in certain circles. Uh, vaporwave is something that people do, um, like kicking or sleeping, or it's. And I mean, the issue is that the term is like it's not grounded in what it like needs to, you know, in a useful fashion. It's grounded. Oh well, you know what? Maybe that's the bridge there with the whole like pseudo, like, Hegelian thing, you know, you were talking about earlier, about it needing to, like, transcend or whatever. Um, the fact that there's, like, it's a, it's a movement, it, it's a modus, which is, like, kind of does go back to the Hegel thing, the idea that there's, like, circles of things, and then there's, like, a trans, there's, like, a motion that is transcendent or whatever, that leaves the yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not familiar with that at all, but um, from what it sounds like, is it sounds a bit like Wisdom Fi. Um, <laughs> did you hear what uh, Wisdom Fi said that were people like um, evolved from apes? And he says, "No man, don't put the apes down." Well, oh, come on, that's fucking he's fighting off Devo. Yeah. Um, don't put Devo, it. Devo is his arsehole. People, it's a, it's a fucking, it's cosmically unjust how underrated they were as a guy. I mean, I guess it's, I, I, I mean, is okay. Is Devo Vaporwave? Fuck. Well, is Devo Vaporwave? I think that, 
Um, okay, so this is this is my this is my final comments on Vaporwave. I think that asking um oh, that by the way that's my queen bitch. Recognize her? No. She's back. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Um, this is like my third queen. I've just been yeah. sacrificing them. I've got no like no control whatsoever. Um. <laughs> Oh, so this is my overall point is, so life, um, so, so uh, you know, life as a concept um, likes to be alive. Cells that are within a living body like to stay within a living body. Life naturally um, wants to produce and reproduce and create more of itself. I think that culture uh, has, uh, like reproduction uh, and like, um, you know, staying in itself and continuity, I think it has another, um, sort of fundamental force to it called Vaporwave, which is... You should, you should read, uh, uh, sorry, but you can finish yeah, it. Go for it. No, no, go ahead. I think that was pretty much it. That It has another, like, fundamental force called Vaporwave, which is a, um, which is like a, a following up to the death of, um, I, yeah, I guess it's like the following up to the death of something. After something has died in culture, it can be reborn as Vaporwave. Doesn't that kind of go into the... Doesn't that cycle it back into the nostalgia argument? Why? Well, because you say it's like taking on this... This property that's only there after it's no longer in vogue or whatever it's time well I, I wouldn't say when it's in vogue when it's been it's finished well, being, well, what, sorry, what, what, no no not when it's phased out when it's finished being created I don't I think oh, okay. I don't think that um, I think vaporwave um, you know scientifically exists like without um, oh my god dude I just don't like this you're just killing I feel like you have a plan which is more than like a one step. Uh, which is like, I want to kill that fucking chimney looking motherfucker. Um, the. I think it's an observ. As I said, I think it's an observable thing like, li uh, like life's um, ability and want and sort of fundamental essence of reproduction and spreading and growth that there is a, a follow up to. The re uh, redundancy and creativity. Oh. I think it's the beginning of the end, brother. I mean, because I think my point there is um, it makes Vaporwave quite. I guess it's a good name in the sense of. Um, what it does, but it means it's been misused for so long, it's kind of, um, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, dude. Um, I don't, I'm not too sure what happens here. You think it's been... I think it's been misused, yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess, misused is perhaps the a misuse of the word misused. I, I probably would say it wasn't misused. It's um, or not even too much. I think it. Well, I guess honestly, it's, I was going to just say too lax. I think I probably I feel like it's being used um to like define it almost. It's like people are getting the vibe of what they're trying to say when they say like this thing. Um, I mean, I, just, I, like, I don't know if you can take that bishop or not, but I feel like you can't move into check. The... Oh, shit, dude, that was a... That was a good, good, good little sneaky bastard thing to do, you know. Um, and the sad thing- oh, okay, no, you can't win, but, okay. Um, 
No, I was just I was just so worried there for a second. I just saw I saw my world ending. Um, you saw the red square. Mm. I guess what I'm saying is, I think Vaporwave is an observable law of nature. Like, um... Uh, you know, like gravity. Oh, well that, okay, so that... It brings me back to what I was gonna say a minute ago. Uh, about Ezra Pound. And... The book that he wrote. He wrote a lot of books that were not, uh... Explicitly poetry. For a lot of us, bad ideas. Uh, although they were a lot of them poetic, especially the one like, called Guide to Culture. Uh, culture is spelled K U L C H U R. It's we'll link that in the video description, so uh, yeah, uh, so people right can there. people can read into that later. You know. Yeah. Um, don't. Well, yeah, no, it's it's good. It's good if you haven't read. It's a book that will improve your um, Safari open tabs uh, quality. <laughs> Say that. You'll close your, your Rule 34 shit. Open up a lot of ancient and ancient uh, Chinese. Oh, so I did have my this. So again, I'm gonna I'm I'm I've I've drunk my two beers. I'm into my grandiose statements. Mm. Uh, oh shit. Jesus Christ, I, um... The, um... What's my grandiose thing? Oh, so, things, things can, e like, things evolve. Uh, and things mutate, which are two forms of change. I think there's another, like, like practical um, thing that happens where think where living objects repeat behavior based on like non-observable benefits to themselves, and I think that might be called vaporwave. Well, the... Like ri like ritual, ri I mean ritual might be what vaporwave is, but it's just not. Def like not, n it's not the well, fact that vaporwave is ritualistic. But what else is it? If it's just ritualistic, um, then no, it just that it, just that it's it's it has a pro it has a ritualistic property. To it. But I wonder if it's if it's if but I wonder if that's its only property. <laughs> Does it have a property larger than um, fuck me, dude? Uh, again, I'm I, I'm sure you can't fucking checkmate me, but I feel like there's a you can somehow. Um, I just don't like it. Probably good, but not me. I feel like this might be ch no, it's not checkmate. It's almost checkmate. Um, I'm curious. Um, I guess because I mean in all I in all discussions where I get caught up on like definitions um, there's always a question of use and utility um, which I which is probably a like a valueless thing to worry about hmm. utility well, it's, I mean, a value of the thing is like, it's, wor it's like me worrying about, um, like the weather or something. It's like, um, I might as well just not, you know, uh, I don't have any control over it. Like, utility of like language, um, it's just, a, it's like a weird thing to worry about. Um, language, yeah, it's not well, that's so. A, that's a, that's a McLuhan thing. Okay. Like, language is a. Uh an extension of band. You could argue that... I think there's probably some overlap between vaporwave and mini -man. That'd be an interesting But I think, I think there's not only an in... Uh, fuck me. <laughs> I think there's not only an interaction between like 
Vaporwave and Ritual, I think it's like we have like an amorphous amount of words where this this nilogism has come from, but it's not it's not being viewed as a nilogism in relationship to anything other than um, like a, a certain type of look which is like popularized it. Holy shit, this game's fucking broken, dude. I've got two yeah. queens. <laughs> I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep yeah. you I'm gonna keep you in a fucking um <laughs> ghetto, dude. I'm gonna keep yeah. you I'm gonna keep your king in a ghetto. Uh I'm gonna make all my pawns kings. <laughs> Uh, and then we're gonna like slowly, uh, slowly move in. <laughs> Decol, de uh, <laughs> you're gonna decolonize it. Yeah. Oh, well, so in that book, he, uh, Pound is talking about, um, like the idea of. What he calls, well, it's not his term, but it comes from some weird. Uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna read some YouTube comments as well, and, mm. and just see what, what we've got. Yeah. Uh, someone said, Night Hall, nearly 1 a.m., I've got to leave. Um, also, music is giving me a headache. Um, but I haven't even heard it yet. Uh, I'll turn I've it down. I'll thing. turn it down. I like the music a lot. Um, even, is it vaporwave? Or it's uh, it's I I am. Uh, I, yeah, I'm putting you on the. I'm putting you on the spot. The hot spot. Hi Jeff. Um, is it vaporwave? Vaporwave is gay. It means you fucks. Yeah. While porn to ESPN. Oh, that's cooch. <laughs> I want vaporwave is just going up in Y text to just be spammed from now on. Yeah. Palm Mall. I quite like Palm Mall, yeah. The Mall Soft, I went to my first American Mall today, and it was actually, um, um, like, kind of amazing. It was, um, it was weird because I was list I went into the mall, and I was like, this sounds just like Mall Soft. This sounds like I'm in a Mall Soft album. This is nuts. Oh, it worked. Yeah. Um, what was that, uh, you know, the guy who... Invented the first, first mall. Um, said it was the worst uh, in year. He deeply regretted it. It was the first mall. Was also it also came out the the year that Pink Floyd released um, Pink Floyd's The Wall. The mall. The mall. Yeah. The wall. That, so there's a wall mall correlation. Yeah. They were timing it. Yeah. No, what? that's that's not true. <laughs> For anybody who's listening, I feel like that is true, dude. Um, not because the first mall was built in like the fifties. Yeah, but when did um, Pink Floyd release the the wall? Uh, in fifty one. Yeah. Really? I thought they released it no. the year the mall came out. That's what I heard on reputable news source uh, Fun Church in their yeah, in their improv. Vaporwave uh, section. Sounds right. <laughs> I heard it on Buncher, so I don't, you know. It's... What, how? <laughs> yeah. So if, it, if I... it wasn't true, it's true now. Well, I did hear it on Buncher. So, you know. Um, Jesus. This is going to be a long. Um... This is fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to turn this pawn into a queen, dude. I'm going to. I'm gonna fucking Palestine your ass so hard. Um, Give me some. So let's get some. Let's get some favorite vaporwave albums uh, in the the mm. description. But again, I guess what my my topic is that was kind of lost um, is the concept that a vaporwave album is almost a meaningless term. Um. um the problem is, is that it does actually describe something hyper specifically, which is kind of useful. Um. It's like, uh, oh, there you go. 
Oh shit. Yeah. Dude, there we go, man. That's it. Now, so. W um, so now I'm re watching the game. If you click in the, like, the left of the screen, you can like watch the move sets again. So, is this uh, Vaporwave? Yeah, because you're what? Yeah. It's, or it's fucking. The thing you made. Or the worst Vaporwave you made today. I'm not familiar with. Are you. Ex Wait, e S Spirit, E Spirit dot exe. I'm not. Let me check what that is. Yes. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, I know that. Um, it's pretty good actually. And it's all um, it's not sampled at all. The um, it kind of sounds um, it doesn't sound. It's not my favorite vaporwave. Album by a long shot. You see, I it's I'm almost using um, vaporwave as um, as a word for a certain type yeah. of music. When it, how are you, I guess it's yeah, like how, um, how are you using it here? I guess I'm using it like hardcore. I'm using it like the word hardcore is like hardcore describes a certain type of like metal. Does it? Is that what hardcore? Yeah. Um, but yeah. hardcore well, is but also there's a, something there's else. Hardcore electronic music too. Yeah. But maybe am maybe it's ambient. Or, it's not quite a thing. That that's the thing. I think I think the problem with vaporwave is it needs um, people who don't jerk off to furry porn to um, to spend some time thinking about it, rather than um, people that do. Yeah, rather than yeah. the people that like but, vaporwave. But, yeah, but so far the only other people who have done that are uh, you know are. Uh, I feel like at some point, um, almost like the you know the rain cycle, there will be uh, a chart of human existence, of um, of how life works. Uh, you know, you've got amoebas, you've got humans, you've got vaporwave. You know. Well, you know that they say in. Um... That uh, we never stopped uh, mutating. Mm. I like that. This that didn't just end just because we we mutated into humans. It, it didn't just conveniently stop right there. You know. So what did um, Connor Craft say? Nostalgia of O B L. I T E R A T -E D and we am blessed, maybe. Obliterated <sighs> and reassembled. Hmm. But I mean, you could. The thing is, is that saying that, like, uh, vaporwave is the past ability obliterated and reassembled, um, so that's. Um, We're saying that you're saying nostalgia is being obliterated and reassembled. Yeah. Um, but I would definitely say, but then, um, you know, like, like ancient, um, you know, like Native Americans definitely were a vaporwave people. They were the mm. most, like, they were incredibly vaporwave. Um, they used every part of the animal they killed. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's pretty vaporwave. But I mean, also just the fact that, like, when their ancestors died, they, like, continued doing what they did. Um, they, um, you know, they had... Um, they had ritual. I think that, um, I guess the, the issue is, is that... Well, I, if, if that's the case, then Devo is absolutely vaporwave because they argued for a, what they called a new traditionalism. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that the, the issue is, is like what, there's not a s section of what is and what isn't vaporwave as a sub, like, sub... No, but I'm going, I'm going by your, your yeah. What you were positing earlier. I mean, I guess what I'm positing is a description of like um, a list of identities that vaporwave ne something needs to have to be vaporwave um, is in the same way that like so 
what's a frog and what's not a frog. It's is that fundamental is like vaporwave is a delicate process in in human understanding in, in human life I mean um, or at least sentient life um, it's a weird word because I mean again it's like um, I guess what I've come to as a conclusion here is vaporwave is too broad to be um, usable and I think to a lot of people who are who describe themselves as immersed in it or submerged in it, whatever that means, um, that's sort of that was always the objective. <laughs> yeah, I, I I mean I guess that's the thing is they've in they they created a thing, um, or at least without they... having to say that they created a, without having to call it a thing. Yeah, well, it's like they, there was a subculture created, um, and it was created from like, um, I guess, it, you know, I don't know. Hmm. It's implicit at its core. I mean, so have you heard of the shithouse poets? Not the, is it, not the shithouse poets, um, no, the shithouse post poets, like, wrote only their poet poems on, like, bathroom walls, um, I mean, I know the famous little, like, couplet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking the, um, I think they're called, like, Savage, po they're, it's, um, it's a Chilean, like, literary movement where, um, men would, like, go alone into a cabin with a classic novel for a week. They would isolate themselves from the world and they would, like, take the novel apart and, like, eat it and shit on it and, like, s fuck around with it and destroy it utterly. That's pretty pre-Raphael one. <laughs> but, um, it, but it's like, um, that's probably just called cannibalism. Like, um, people have been doing that for millennia. It's like, um, cannibalism. Yeah. it's, I mean, I mean, my point is like, it's a re vaporwave, the vaporwave movement. Okay, so I'm going to keep using the word vaporwave here when I should be using something else, but I've, I'm not sentient enough to describe it. So the vaporwave movement is vaporwaving vaporwave. Like, it's like it's taken cannibalism like the, um, like the savage poets did, and it's turned it into, um, it's picked it up as this discarded, created object. And it's brought well, you know, the, you know, there, there are, there, there's, there are vaporwave albums that have been released that would back that statement up. But I mean, I think that there's another term that's not vaporwave, and vaporwave is a, a vaporwave. Um, well, what's that thing that? that uh, what's that thing that Fod was talking about? Oh, postwave. But I mean, I think. No, no, no. There was something else. It was. There was like there's like a subreddit for it. Yeah, the and it, yeah, I think it was called like Postwave, dude. And it's like no, the no, it was something more. It was something a lot more boring than that. Oh, off after wave. Yeah, I think Ford created it. So uh, it didn't even have the word wave in it. It's like it's like a one word term. Okay, but um, I can't remember. You perhaps a chat can help us out, guys. Yeah, um, I know what we're talking about. The, but I mean, so so let's just say um, gunk, gunk. Um, let's just say ritual. Let's just say ritual. So I think Vaporwave took the, the concept of ritual and turned it into a ritualized Vaporwave. Like Vaporwave is ritual, but ritualized into Vaporwave. Like, I think, I don't think it is, I don't think it is one for one, um, a, like a synthesis of um, ritual, but I think it's pretty much, um, Cl is close enough for like m this level of discussion. I think it's action. It's 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 actionable. Uh, or yeah, it's, it's okay. So it's it's ritual that exists to affirm the ritualistic nature of man. I guess. Yeah. So I guess perhaps because perhaps that's the thing with vaporwave is I need to not try and. Um, ameliorate it into um, a nice thing. Perhaps Vaporwave is, um, it is clunky and it is weird 
and perhaps the people that did it didn't quite understand why it's a thing, and the, the people that perpetuate it don't understand why it's a thing, but I think it's, it, maybe I, think I just need to leave it alone. Like, they, they went into it thinking about it as something that is not as interesting as it as the thing that it actually is. Well, yeah, I think, um, but I, I guess I, my only example I managed to finally think of one is, I think it's kind of like, you know, boys discovering their penis for the first time. And they're like, what the fuck is this? This is like an amazing, weird thing. No one else must have this. But it's like, mm. if you left your fucking computer, you would see that ritual and the things that you think are like crazy and cool and sacred and um, exciting just exist. These are all just real things. Um, like, um, I think they're just ritual. Um, probably not probably not ritual, but I think Vaporwave is... Um, I think, so again, I'll say this as a concise, um, as my closing, closing statement. I think Vaporwave is a, um, Vaporwave is a ritualization, I think you said it as well, probably more concisely than I can at this point, like, Vaporwave is a, um, is a reaffirmation of ritualization in society, um, or just as, as, as human. Yeah, as a, as a human, um, or yeah, a human or sentient um, expression. It's a weird one because um, I just can't keep thinking about utility. But I guess what it, but then it does create vaporwave is a scene, and it is a break off from ritual, even though it is um, identical to ritual. It's it's in, or it's identical to ritual. Um, like physiologically, but the intentionality behind it is uh, well, I, not even the intentionality. The intentionality is the same, but the um, well, it's 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 it's, hol it's holographic ritual. Yeah, but um, I think I mean if you look at like um, I think like having candles with like the Virgin Mary on, uh, that's ritual and that's that's also vaporwave. Like I I think the um, the digitalness of it isn't actually a real thing. I think that. Um, oh, yeah. well, not not at all. I mean, there's, you know. Oh, so what? In what? So like in what? Vapor, in, vaporwave artists who who have never released yeah. their work online. You know? So what did you what did you mean about um, um, uh, holographic? What was your? Oh, just the sense that it's. I mean, so much of the vaporwave thing. To me, opens up just the the Baudrillardian in question just over and over and over about simulacra and simulation and the idea of you know even if we want to play it on their original less interesting terms about it being related to like capital or production or whatever, it's like it still comes back to the same thing. Um, this discussion of what is mutable about the properties of reality mm. in other words it's it's uh opening a dialogue on hyper reality <laughs> okay khaki says with the talkie more chess playing more chess okay let's have a game of speed chess um oh. No, okay, uh, so just hardcore chess, none of this, um, none of this bourgeois bullshit, dude. None of these big <laughs> fancy words. Have you quit? Right. Did you quit the page? Uh, I hit rematch. Okay. Oh, good. there we go. So did I. Yeah. So, um, I think this is, um, how you get fucked up, bro. Let's go. Yeah. High speed. Just no, no pauses. No. Boom, boom, boom. Bam, bam, bam. No space in between. Come on, let's jam. We're playing. We are playing Parappa the Rapa right now, right? Yeah. Uh, this is. Um, I mean, it's vape. Uh, let's speed it up, dude. Um, yeah. I mean, this is a vaporwave stream. Uh, of course, we'll be exclusively it should, it playing. Should, it, should, it should be very slow, then, shouldn't it? Yeah. Parappa wave. Be painfully slow <laughs> and really shitty and not fun to listen to. I don't know what Khaki's complaining about. 
I mean, this is what they wanted, dude. This is chess. Yeah, this, this is, is what you guys asked for. We're this, just blasting through this. This is Bobby. This is Bobby Fisher levels of um, yeah. of play right now. You moved so your you, you moved your horse there, and I'm like, why? Yeah. Was that a good move? Was that a bad move? Uh, and I'm like, I can't. I don't know. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I can't figure it out. But he did. He did sure move that piece there. We're just moving. We're just. <laughs> You know, it's it's called it's called keep them guessing. <laughs> keep keep them guessing, chess. Um. Hmm. <laughs> uh. I've uh, got my horse dealing massive damages one. behind their lines. Uh. <laughs> Trying to not take more than like eight seconds to move a piece. What the fuck? Oh no, have you moved? Yeah. Why can't I move this fucking horse? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I think you moved right after him. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm already taking too long! Yeah, I just can't. Uh... There is actually, I played a game mode before this which was like three seconds and you had to move or it would automatically move for you. I feel like there's lag or something weird. Um... That's pretty vapor. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty vapor. <laughs> Laggy chess. Yeah, <laughs> a really bad lagging uh, leechess.org game. <laughs> Getting that I closed the uh, window. I, I could I I just couldn't remember that I was white for a second. Um, mm. In real life. Yeah. Mm. You hurt it. I normally always play black. Um, I think it just switches us automatically. Yeah. Holy shit, I just took that piece uh, thinking it was... I took that piece thinking it was my piece and that's the move you should have made. That's the level of um, professionalism we're dealing with here, people. Um, yeah, the stakes are high, the uh, skill sets are higher. Uh, what, uh, I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm just, just boxing that horse completely. Uh, you could, I don't know, dude. I feel like you're so close to check. Um, yeah, I think that's actually really bad. As you know, you're not. Okay. We did get a follower on Twitch as a result. But he was really? from he was from American Odyssey, it would appear. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably it's probably because of the uh, the high second round of chess. Yeah, because I mean I don't like talking about bullshit, right? Yeah, <laughs> the one. Um. <laughs> That's what can't what one person in the, uh, the AO outpost wants. <laughs> four four twenty one in the morning. I think we're all, we're almost there, dude. Ooh. Yeah. Like, hey, what just happened there? I thought that was you. I do feel like that. I think you can pre-move if you like drag and. Oh. That was almost a smart move, but uh, it was also terrible. Is it terrible if I'm just 
just, uh, just barely above uh, clicking at random. <laughs> I feel like you're winning, though. Or, or, or is it vaporwave? I feel like you're winning. Um, I can't tell you why I feel like you're winning, but I do feel like you're. It's because you're putting me in check a lot. Yeah, that's all it is. And I feel it's like the it's the red thing that they put over the. Yeah. I mean, I've now managed to like remember that I'm the white, so that's something. I I've never seen two. I've never seen this board layout before, where I've I've got two horses over here for some reason. I've got like five pawns. Um, I haven't moved any of my castles. <laughs> yeah, I really clicked that uh that space with the completely by accident. I wonder if yeah, you're like um you're like an algorithm. You just go from like top left and just. Do all the possible moves. You just go that's down, true. can't can't move. Um that, that's how I learned. <laughs> it's through fucking okay, was through Lee's uh <laughs> <Jesse> Lee. algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna find out Mr. Lee's like some like poor Ethiopian child that like got to like chess grandmaster and then like died at twelve, you know. Mm. It's pretty vaporwave. Yeah, it's pretty vaporwave. And now we play on his website and his... his, his... Oh, I'm sorry, no, no, that's what's vaporwave, is he died and he lives again through this terrible website that people uh, are actually giving a lot of attention to. Hmm. Or... Like Facebook. Right. Yeah, it's like when you have your... Page set up and turn in a uh, memorial page. Well, that's weird because it's like there's actually like, um, it's I can't remember what the statistic is, but it's something like 30% of all the some amount of the Facebook page, some huge number are just all dead people. Really? Yeah, and it's like, it's like accounts that were not deactivated. Yeah, and it's like some huge amount, and it's like an actual problem where they've got like. At some point, their user base is going to be because they've got 10 billion people. It's going to be 10 billion dead people and 30 yeah. billion Chinese people. Yeah. Well, that's just true. Uh, true that's, of uh, the universe. That's tech, that, yeah, that's, that's Facebook imitating life. Um, hmm. It's just such a bad move, dude. But you know, if you don't make the bad moves, you're never going to learn. You know. I feel like, um, I want to call him Billy Fisher, but that's obviously not his name. Bobby Kotek. Bobby Brown. I feel like Bobby Brown, dude. Yeah. Hate those, uh, you know. I feel like, um, Lee, dude. She, oh, ooh. There we go. Savage. To be honest, I thought this would be over. <laughs> this is such a dumb round. Blasting through the like three quarters of the game. Well, like, um... <laughs> well, like, half of this game, I was, like, I was moving. Um, you were moving at random, and I was trying to do chess moves. I wasn't uh, real. I was... I well, was, well, you were... I you... was moving... Without caring that much. Yeah, I, but I mean that's but the it thing. It wasn't random. Well, but uh, yeah, it wasn't. But it's like in chess, you're supposed to like have a like a concept for how you win, and at no point have either of us had any. We've not looked like at, not even like one step. Like we're not even like half. We haven't halfway fought through the step we're making like currently. Not this round. No, I I don't know. Quite honestly, the last round also was a mess. <laughs> 
I think I thought like a step and yeah. a half. Ahead I think west around. some of the moves I fought ahead, but I quickly forgot what I had um, thought was a good chess move, like a few seconds into doing it. Yeah, that happened sometimes. So I was trying to remember uh, a point about Vaporwave Indian something. I love the fact that you can get like 12 queens. Yeah. Talking about that, it's time to queen up again. <laughs> oh, he's doing the punch. <laughs> All the white pawn. Don't know what happened soon. We're picking up FOD tomorrow from the airport. Looking forward to that. I need to, um, how tall are you? Me? Yeah. Uh, I'm very tall. I think I'm about his height. You're like five, he's like five, seven, I think. Yeah, I'm like five, eight. Oh, damn. Yeah. Do you find that useful, um, like plugging stuff into Samix as being a, being a man? -like? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it's, you know, it helps when you, um, there you, go. you don't have to take anything off the floor, you know, but when I, you're the <sighs> devil. In all, in all honesty, um, I like spend most of my time like hunched over because I need to like interact with things around me, and it's all not, it's all not at a six foot level. So that's the thing. Uh, you need, uh, you need to become shorter, or you yeah. need uh, everything to be on like a, a really high counter. I just need a serious motor vehicle injury. That'll do it. Yeah. Just is that for is that plan for Sunday. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually going to drive a car into the studio and take everyone out with me. Nice. Yeah, yeah no seatbelts. Drunk drive, you're, take, you're taking up uh, Spencer's advice. Mm, yeah. It's going to be a, it's, it's gonna be a $10 donation for a mass slaying. So. Yeah, no, so it's, yeah. You know, like, we lower the, the cost for, like, the robot voice to read things out. But we also lower the cost for uh, Death. Ben driving a car through yeah. the building and killing everybody. Uh, Cooch says, Bod is 5'5". Five, 5'5", five. Five, five, dude. Um, it's going to be insane. I'm going to sleep tonight on the floor, on my back, uh, and I'm going to maximize my, my height by not standing up during the day until I meet Fod. Nice. Uh, yeah, I, so I'll take a nice walk. man... Yeah, I'll... I'll lie down in the back of the car, and I'm going <laughs> And I just want my nice manlet picture for the for Odyssey, for my own personal use, for my PowerPoint presentation on how I'm taller than Ford. Right, we're gonna have you. Uh, we're we're gonna have Ford read that. <laughs> He's gonna read your PowerPoint presentation yeah. about how you're taller than me. And unlike Cooges, where it's all spelt correctly, but I just can't figure it out, it's gonna be spelt like terribly. Yeah, right. Well, which which uh, which will have the same effect <laughs> when it's being read. Yeah. <laughs> That's called reverse engineering. Yeah, it's like it's like reverse racism, but it's reverse dyslexia. Yeah, um, it's reverse dyslexia. Mm. Oh, what am I? I think we're done. Um, I was pretty pleased with that. I thought um, yeah, it looked pretty good too. Nice. I just yeah, need sorry, to... I couldn't. I couldn't get the the chaos pad going. Well, I can get my one working either. So. Yeah. No okay. harm done. People will, people will say that I I was using a mm. voice changer anyway.